While the Martha Washington Hotel was not without its flaws, the place had been a godsend for Catherine. Her parents would never have consented to letting her venture into the urban wilds of New York City, were it not for the existence of the female-only apartment building that catered to career women. The Martha Washington had a few rooms that could be rented by the week, yet most of the 12 stories were apartments occupied by single women such as herself. It opened in 1903 and was immediately filled to capacity with 500 female teachers, stenographers, nurses, and other professional women who could afford the rent. Catherine's eighth floor apartment had a bedroom and a compact sitting area, complete with a wash sink and a view across 29th Street. A bathroom at the end of the hall was shared by all 45 women who lived on the floor. Everyone who lived here was gainfully employed, but Catherine was one of the few women who worked a late shift. That could cause problems, like this morning when Florence Barlow exercised her considerable lung power to berate whoever used the last of the hot water. It was seven o'clock in the morning when Florence started making a racket. Catherine rolled out of bed, darted across the cold tile floor, cracked open the door. Flo, some of us are still sleeping. I need to wash my hair before work this morning, and how am I supposed to do that when someone used up all the hot water? However you manage it, please do it quietly. Catherine said before closing the door and hopping back into bed. She pulled a mask over her eyes to block the light and waited for sleep to claim her. It was best to sleep at least until 10 o'clock, which could be a challenge when most of the people on her floor were up and out right after breakfast. <laughs>